what is up everybody um, today I'm going to show you how to fix a black screen in Minecraft and how to take out mods without having to delete everything completely um, so you don't end up losing your worlds or any of your progress or any of that stuff so I'm just going to basically like I said just show you how to fix Minecraft if it black screens or something goes wrong with it and how to uh, easily take out a mod without losing any of your worlds or progress so let's go ahead and jump into it first off if you have a uh, problem with Minecraft like it black screens or anything you after you just installed a mod or something just go ahead and do a percent app data percent go into your roaming go into your dot Minecraft go into your bin and open up your Minecraft jar with WinRAR or any sort of um, archiving program. And make sure the meta int file is deleted. Sometimes I even forget to delete that. So if that's there, go ahead and delete it and then see if Minecraft is working now. And if it's still not working after that, or if it's already deleted and it's just it's still not working. Uh, another way you could fix it would be to open up Minecraft and before you log in go to options and click on force update done then log in and it will clear out your entire Minecraft jar and give you a whole new one and you'll still have your worlds and everything it'll just give you a new Minecraft jar so anything that you put into it will be restored and your Minecraft would be working again. I have a texture pack in here, that's why it's doing this. And um, see, if you use Mises texture pack and you restore your Minecraft, it'll do this. And then black screen. A way to fix that would be to go back. Actually, this is another follow up to how to do it. Let's go percent app data percent. Go into your roaming. Go back into your Minecraft. Um, another way to fix a black screen would just to uh, delete your bin folder. Yes. And um, if you saw like mine, how I had a texture pack in there, but I had to use M uh, MC Patcher to get the texture pack to work. Go ahead and delete everything like MC Patcher. Uh, go into your texture packs and delete your texture pack. I'm just going to take it out. So either delete it or take it out. So your texture packs folder is empty. Um, I had mod loader in there, so you could go ahead and delete that just to clear out your entire Minecraft. Too many items. That's not originally from Minecraft, so you delete that. Uh, the backup that was just a backup of my worlds. I could delete that. And then again, you close this and you start up Minecraft and now that your bin folder and all that stuff is deleted if minecraft will even start there you go you just go ahead and log in and again it'll download everything that uh, you just took out so it'll all be renewed there's the original mojang and there you go it's working again and that is pretty much it for anything that you could do so just a little recap um, first if you're if you installed a mod anything like that first you need to check and make sure you deleted the made it in folder in your minecraft jar second thing you could do is open up minecraft and go into options before you log in and select force update and then log in and that'll uh, restore your minecraft jar back to its original state so then it'll be fixed that way and another way is to go into your uh, dot minecraft folder and delete your bin and any of the extra stuff added by mods like the mod loader and the MC patcher and the too many items um, delete all that and uh, delete your bin folder and then restart minecraft and again it will restore everything back to its original state from 
like basically when you had Minecraft, but you'll still have your worlds and your saves and everything. So yeah, that is just all the ways um, to do that without uh, ruining your worlds and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, short video. A lot of people uh, ask me all the time um, how to do that. And when I say in my mod videos that I'm going to clean out my Minecraft jar, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll just go and I will delete my bin folder and then restart Minecraft so I can show you how to uh, install the mod step by step. So yeah, that's it. That's how to do all that if you did not know. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope this helps you all and I will see you guys next time.